I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed for the rebel.media and I'm standing in a windswept farmer's field along the side of very busy Highway 2 just south of Leduc, Alberta and it is cold. It is a very cold Alberta winter day but my heart is warm, burning with passion. Why? Because today is the day that my big beautiful Fire Phillips billboard went up. Now this billboard happened only because of you at home. This billboard will get 1 million impressions a month and this billboard will tell thousands and thousands of Albertans what a liar their environment minister really is. Now, for those of you who need a brief synopsis of what a liar Shannon Phillips is, I'll give you the Coles Notes version. In the western part of the province, there's a vast tract of land known as the Bighorn Backcountry. Shannon Phillips has been listening to foreign funded environmentalists and she's decided to change the way people use the land there. She's going to turn it into basically a big huge provincial park and that would chase away hunters, fishers, quarters, hikers, random campers and it would change the way the people living in the Bighorn backcountry use the land that they've always used. The people who live in places like Sundry, Red Deer, Nordegg, they were having none of it. And they showed up at the consultations and let their opinions be known to the big liar, Shannon Phillips. So Shannon Phillips shut down the consultations. She couldn't bear to hear those people's concerns. Now, Shannon Phillips said that the RCMP advised her to shut down the consultations because there had been threats. Well, in steps the RCMP to say, there have been no threats and we have no investigations of any threats. Then Shannon Phillips said, oh, we've been consulting with the Aboriginal groups inside the Bighorn backcountry. Well, that's not true. The Sunchild First Nation said they've had no consultations with Shannon Phillips about the changes to the lands they have used for thousands and thousands of years. And that's why Shannon Phillips is a liar. She's lied about Albert and she's accused them of criminality for political gain. And Rachel Notley should remove her as the environment minister. Rachel Notley probably won't, but that's okay because my billboard is up here to tell the truth to the entire world. Now, this billboard is probably going to get us in a heck load of trouble, just like Key and Bexie's billboard calling on the... Alberta government to fire their failing education minister, David Egan. That billboard had Rachel Notley sick the elections commissioner after us and gave us a fine. And now we're embroiled in a legal battle with the elections commissioner for our free speech. I anticipate we'll get in some trouble for this one, but that's fine because we're challenging the constitutionality of that law. As you can tell, I'm very excited about my firephillips.com billboard on the side of Highway 2. The best part about it for me is that people traveling from Edmonton and Leduc and places north who are going to use the Bighorn backcountry while they still can will have to drive past this sign before they hang a right in Red Deer to head out to the Bighorn backcountry. They're all going to see this. So I'm very excited. If you want to see the full story where I lay out all the lies one by one, go to firephillips.com. Thanks again to everyone at home who helped fund this big, beautiful Fire Phillips billboard. To get the full story of why Alberta's lying environment minister needs to be fired and to sign my petition, go to firephillips.com.